Hello guys, I am Kumar K and recently our student has cracked a job offer from Microsoft despite being from a tier 3 college. So my first round started at 9 a.m. and it was one of the most difficult round that I've ever faced in an interview because I was not expecting a segmentary problem in an interview. Okay, so they asked you a segmentary question in the first Microsoft. Yeah, so the people I see on LinkedIn, LinkedIn influencers and YouTubers, they make videos and posts like how I cracked Microsoft, Google, 50 LP, 60 LP in 2 months and 3 months. But guys, सच की बात यह है कि दो तीन महीने में कुछ नहीं होता है एक बहुत अच्छा खासा लंबा टाइम लगता है और बहुत अच्छे से आपको प्रिपरेशन करनी पड़ती है तभी आपका रिजल्ट आता है सो आई वुड स्लीप एट टेन एंड वेकअप एट मोस्टली अराउंड फोर एम सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द जिम आई वुड बेसिकली डू लीड कोड एटलीस्ट फॉर थ्री आवर्स एवरी सिंगल डे जस्ट टू बी वेरी मच कंसिस्टेंट विथ माई प्रैक्टिस सो दैट इज वन टिप आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर दैट इवन इफ यू नॉट लुकिंग फॉर स्विच कीप ऑन प्रैक्टिसिंग ये वीडियो में गाइज हम ये भी समझेंगे कि ऑफ कैंपस स्ट्रेटेजी क्या फॉलो करनी चाहिए How did Aditya get the OA link and interview link of Microsoft? Because many working professionals, many college students, many freshers are trying, but they never get shortlisted for Microsoft OA or interview off campus. So, वो बहुत बड़ा secret आपको इस video में पता चलने वाला है. तो ध्यान से देखना आपको ये चीज. Ram Ram. So, guys, I want you also to crack 50 LPA job offer from Microsoft. That's why I've created this lovely podcast for you. In this podcast, हम लोग हर चीज के बहुत deep में जाएंगे. हम exactly जानने की कोशिश करेंगे कि exact DSA coding questions कौन से पूछे गए थे student को Aditya Mazumdar in his Microsoft interview, Microsoft. ऑनलाइन असेसमेंट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एल एल डी राउंड एच एल डी राउंड एच आर प्लस मैनेजेरियल राउंड तो वन थिंग इज क्लियर इफ यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल दी एंड एंड मेक प्रॉपर नोट्स ऑन एवरीथिंग एक्सप्लेन इन दिस वीडियो तो आपके पास सफिशियंट डेटा पॉइंट टिप्स टेक्निक ट्रिक्स का भंडार होगा विच विल हेल्प यू टू क्रैक फिफ्टी एल पी ए जॉब ऑफर फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स तो एकदम ध्यान से देखना यू कैन डू इट आई बिलीव इन यू राम राम एंड लाइक दीज टू क्वेश्चन विच गिव इन द टेस्ट Had you seen them before, or they were totally new for you in the way? No, those were like totally new to me. I had practiced a lot of problems, but those two questions are something which I particularly didn't see before the actual okay, test. Okay. So for OA, you need to practice hard and new problems regularly. Yeah. So I was part of the training, so I did a lot of problems from yeah. the training that we did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Microsoft is well known for asking hard, unseen DSA problems in their OA rounds and interview rounds. But students generally ये mistake करते हैं कि वो standard DSA sheet से ही prepare करते हैं. They generally do 200 to 500. Standard, easy, you know, medium lead code, GFG problems, GFG POTD, lead code POTD, low paper sheet, striver sheet, lead code 150, blind 75, and they think that the preparation is enough. No, guys, it is not enough. You can go yourself, search on lead code, discuss the recent DSA questions asked in Microsoft OA and interview, and you will get your answer. That you need to keep on preparing for hard and seen DSA questions, DSA questions which have mixture of four five topics. You need to do these type of hard and seen DSA plus OA plus CP questions on a regular basis, so you can get the optimal result for it. Aditya Mazumdar, my student, knew it from a long time. Is Aditya Mazumdar has been my student since the last three years. I have been doing his one-to-one -one mentoring, day live training, and many other things like personally helping and guiding him before his OA and interviews. Okay, so you should understand that guys, the results uh, do not come instantly. Like, so in video, me, you will get guidance, tips, or strategies. You will get guidance, tips, or strategies. You will get guidance, tips, or strategies. क्योंकि फॉर नाउ और टिल नाउ योर ब्रेन हैज बीन ब्रेन वॉश्ड बाय ऑल द रॉन्ग इन्फॉर्मेशन सो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज गोइंग टू बी सर्व टू यू सो आपको बहुत अजीब और अलग लगेगा बट इसको सुनना और समझने की बेस्ट कोशिश करना इफ आई टॉक अबाउट माय स्टूडेंट आदित्य मजूमदार सिंस द लास्ट थ्री ईयर ही डेली वेक्स अप एट फोर एम एंड ही स्लीप्स एट टेन पी एंड ऑल द टाइम इन द मिडल He wakes up and start doing hard unseen DSA plus OA plus CP training, homework, etc. Then he starts doing system design practice. ये चीजें वो regularly महीनों और सालों से कर रहे हैं. इतना ज़्यादा discipline है. This level of discipline you need to reach your final goal. Always remember, volume and hard work negates luck. So make sure you work very very hard. Ram Ram. Aditya, the सबसे पहला important question मैंने यहाँ पर already लिख के रखा है. बहुत सारे वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल्स को दिक्कत आती है ऑफ कैंपस में इंटरव्यू की लिंक्स नहीं आती ओए की लिंक्स नहीं आती शॉर्टलिस्ट नहीं हो पाते हैं तो आप इसके बारे में क्या कहना चाहेंगे और आपने ऑफ कैंपस में क्या किया था और क्या स्ट्रेटेजी और ट्रिक्स ऑफ कैंपस में फॉलो करनी चाहिए ताकि एज अ वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल लोगों को इंटरव्यूज आए क्योंकि इन टू नहीं आ रहे इंटरव्यूज ऐसा लोगों का कहना है तो आप इसके बारे में क्या कहना चाहेंगे So the first thing is always optimize your LinkedIn and resume. Okay. So initially, while I was in 2023, मैंने आपका ही वो LinkedIn और resume optimization वाले training से मैंने अपना LinkedIn और resume को अच्छे से optimize करके रखा था. Okay. So getting opportunities for me was kind of easy. 
Uh, most of the opportunities like Google, Microsoft, and a lot of companies recruiters directly reached out to me because my LinkedIn and resume were highly optimized. And after optimization, basically, you can check your uh, LinkedIn and resume score from a website called as Resume Worded. Okay, okay. So the first thing that I would suggest is always keep your LinkedIn and resume ATS friendly and highly optimized. Okay, sure, sure. The second thing is as a working professional, we don't spend a lot of time into applying to a lot of jobs. Okay. So I would suggest the Keep your job application volume as high as possible. Okay. So the first step we're doing is by creating a multiple job alerts. Okay. So from a particular account, you can basically create like 20 job alerts. Hmm. So many both are the job alerts based on location and based on the type of work, backend, front end, DevOps, platform engineering. I created multiple um, job alerts for multiple location based like Hyderabad, Bangalore, remote and stuff like that. So whenever there's the opportunity, I get to be alert and there's a opportunity i would like reach out to multiple people to, to gather the cells and apply as quickly as possible matlab aap bahut zyada volume aur quantity mein karte the right yes yes so that is also mandatory okay so like as a working professional in india let's say you're working in tcs infosys ab ye strategy nahi kar sakte ki aap hafte mein sirf ek do baar apply karo aur socho ki ho jaye right no that might not be a very good approach in my opinion to so, jitna zyada application mein apply karenge utne zyada chances hai to getting shortlisted and getting interview calls zyada se zyada reference ke liye zyada zyada logo ko reach out karo aur ek acha network banana chahiye right yeah so yeah. for tech i believe networking is the key so yeah. even i joined like i created my linkedin account in 2022 and okay. i wasn't sure of the networking part so with time i think right now i have around 22000 connections yeah. and it's oh. like pretty easy for me to like get the reference and so networking is the key uh, try to मेक एज मच बिग नेटवर्क एज यू कैन ओके आदित्य तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मैंने यहां पर आपके लिख के रखा है वो है माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का प्रोसेस सो लाइक हाउ डिड यू गेट द इंटरव्यू एट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट स्टार्टिंग में कैसे आपको इंटरव्यू मिला था आपने अप्लाई किया था कि क्या हुआ था क्या आप इसके बारे में थोड़ा समझा पाएंगे तो आई गॉट डायरेक्टली रीच आउट बाय द रिक्रूटर सो ऑन वन ऑन अ मंडे मॉर्निंग आई वाज जस्ट अपडेटिंग माय लिंक्डइन प्रोफाइल एंड आई जस्ट रीच गॉट रीच आउट बाय अ रिक्रूटर एट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड नॉट जस्ट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आई गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ कॉल्स directly from the recruiter itself because my linkedin was very optimized so okay. they reached out to me whether i was interested for the opportunity then we had a brief 30 minutes call on the same day okay. and then it was followed by one online assessment round followed okay. and followed by a four round of interview on the okay, same so day like after like aapka recruiter se call hua to call ke kitne din baad online assessment hua how much time did you get to prepare after the recruiter call no there was no time gap in between okay. oa was on the same day okay. i received the oiling on the same day and had so to like, be done so like aditya were you prepared kya ready the us oa ko tabhi ke tabhi dene ke liye uh see i studied daily like i have a very okay. fixed schedule like i would like wake up at 4 and practice dsc daily like at least for 2 to 3 hours in the morning itself okay. so that even if i am not looking out i am still prepared if a good opportunity lands into my plate okay okay so you are always ready for fang type companies right Yeah, like I would suggest if, to everyone, even if you are not looking out or don't have plans to switch, still it's better to practice yeah. two to three hours daily. Okay. If you are overloaded with with work, try to do it early in the morning so that you can basically prepare before starting off your work in your daily routine. Because as a working professional, it's very much difficult to manage time. Okay, okay. So like these days, you know, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google, they are asking LLM proof problems in their online assessments, right, Aditya? So, how did you deal with online assessments? What was the duration and what was the online assessment? Can you tell us? So, in OA, mein, there were two questions, 90 minutes. Okay. The first question was based on greedy, and it was very much implementation heavy question. Okay. Like uh, use of multiple tree maps, hash map, and uh, I think priority okay. queue. Edge cases as well, right? Must be. Yeah, there were a few edge cases because the constraints were very high, and I was getting TLE on a few edge cases. Okay. So it was like kind of difficult question to be done, and it took me multiple yeah. iterations. It must be. Of... It must be very stressful to do all of that in ninety minutes, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I didn't even think that I would be able to finish the way because right. the level of question was actually. Like question was not very difficult, but due to the constraints, it got a bit tricky to solve. Okay. And also, like it was implementation heavy. So when you are given a such hard question, you try often make a lot of compilation error as well because of the yeah, stress yeah. and the time management thing. Yeah, yeah. And Aditya, what about the second question in that online? Second question was uh, DP on strings. Okay. It was uh, something that uh, I didn't do previously, but it was like still kind of medium, not that hard. Yeah, so, yeah. but again, it was like DP is something that individuals usually fear. Okay. Okay. So, okay. And but, like these two questions which came in the test, had you seen them before, or they were totally new for you in the way? 
no those were like totally new to me i had practiced a lot of problems but those two questions are something which i particularly didn't see before the actual okay, test okay. so for oa you need to practice hard and new problems regularly yeah so i was part of the training so i did a lot of problems from yeah. the training that we did yeah yeah okay so guys in the first round of microsoft interview he was asked a very hard dsa question which involved segment tree general tree dfs lazy propagation everything in one problem only then also he was able to handle this hard unseen stuff and the uncertainty let's see how he dealt with it ram ram to so my first round started at 9 am and it was one of the most difficult round that i have ever faced in an interview because i was not expecting a segmentary problem in an interview okay so they asked you a segmentary question in the first microsoft yeah so that was like one of the hardest interview that i have ever appeared for and i was not expecting a segmentary problem and there was a moment of panic because i like reading at the question i got a hint that it might be related to segmentary okay. but um, like uh, since segment is not a very generic interview uh, type of yeah. thing okay. it was a bit difficult experience but it was mostly like one hour of a lot of communication yeah. so like aapne that... aapne is cheez ko kaise deal kiya मतलब क्वेश्चन किस टाइप का था और आपको क्वेश्चन में क्या स्टेप्स करने पड़े थे आदित्य कुछ बता पाएंगे बेसिकली इट वाज नॉट इवन अ डायरेक्ट सेगमेंटरी इट वाज अ सेगमेंटरी बट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू लाइक डू अ डीएफएस ऑन अ गिवन ट्री एंड बेसिकली बिल्ड अ एरे एंड देन अप्लाई सेगमेंटरी ऑन द गिवन एरे ऑन द एरे आफ्टर डीएफएस एंड ओके सो जनरल ट्री एंड सेगमेंटरी एंड ऑब्जर्वेशन एवरीथिंग इज मिक्स्ड इन वन क्वेश्चन या सो द हाउ मच टाइम टाइम कितना था आपके पास ये सब करने के लिए आई हैड वन आवर ऑफ uh interview of for this round we started with brute force and i initially tried to approach the problem using dsu okay and i was able to sort of uh, do some sort of manipulation in the actual dsu format and able to arrive at a solution but the optimal like the approach that interviewer was expecting me was the actual segmentary approach and we then shifted to segmentary and then okay. i was able to communicate my thought process and yeah. the Got round it. and finally about- finally you moved towards the segmentary solution right Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so after the first round, how much time did you get out there before the second round? It was minutes, like, or a few hours. Ah, uh, yeah, I think forty minutes. Okay, okay. So yeah. you know, after such a difficult experience in round one, you only have forty minutes, right? Yeah, I was literally like sweating, and it was like okay, okay. I already had like a bit of headache after the first round because I was very much stressed. Stressed. Yeah, yeah. Then the round started. The second round started in forty minutes. In okay. round two. it was again a hard sliding window problem it was not just two pointer sliding window okay like a, again a implementation heavy question involving tree map and tree set with two pointers okay so, okay. so you are saying tree set a uh, tree set tree map and then two pointer greedy everything is involved in that problem right yeah it was two point uh, sliding window with a lot of implementation heavy and it had like three follow up parts okay, follow ups were also there just to check how yeah. much in detail you can do it right yeah it, it had three follow ups and the expectation was working for code for this round We had one hour, and you had to like write working code, not just the Dylan, but actually the code should yeah. run on the compiler. Okay, okay. So like, how did you do it? You wrote the whole code until the end. How did you do it? Ah, like I, I have not solved the problem before, but I had done similar sort of problem, and yeah, this yeah. question was difficult but doable type of question compared like to the first you, round, right? Yeah, like if you have done a lot of unseen lead code, medium hard, then mm-hmm. there is a possibility that you might be able to crack the logic and might be able to code. So yeah. one tip I would like to share here is in lead code we usually don't write the write the main function where you are taking the input test cases and run it. Yeah. So as like but in interviews there's a high possibility that you will have to like uh, take the inputs yourself and like write a proper working solution so practice okay. in the same format for interviews okay got it got it so after the second round how much time did you get uh, for the third round in middle of second and third i think of couple of hours maybe one hour or one one and a half hour i got for the before the third round okay so third round mein kya ho raha tha aditya bata sakta hu what things it was but third round is mostly hld okay. and it was a Yeah, and actually has a like very standard format that you'll have to gather the functional requirement, discuss about the NFR non-functional requirement, okay. discuss about the API contracts that you're going to use, the API schema, and also okay. the database schema. And then start the actual building blocks for the actually and okay. get it. So, like, started. how did that third round go for you? Was it easy for you, medium or hard for you? The third round actually was like pretty much uh, similar question I had already solved. Okay. So I would rate it as medium because I. recently solved solved a very similar problem and i was able to uh, answer all the follow up question with okay. proper uh, requirements that were needed to fulfill the functional and non functional requirements okay now can you tell me what were your feelings after all the three rounds were done what were you thinking in your mind uh so i 
thought that I had performed decent enough to get into the final round of interview, and I was expecting the call. Okay, and I. But the elimination round, क्या सब round में pass होना जरूरी था कि एक round में bad होने का second में cut कर देते कैसा था वो खुद बता सकते हो. If you like, it would depend on the feedback of the first two rounds. Okay. So if you perform like not good in both of the first two DSA rounds, you might be rejected. So and after that, if you clear the first round, then you get invited for the further rounds on the same day. Okay, okay, okay. So now, can you start explaining the fourth round story? What it was based upon, and what was going on? Yeah. So fourth round was mostly a uh, round with director, I believe, and it was. Uh, uh, so I had worked on Java, and I got a few memory-like questions on C plus plus. Is something that they expected me to answer yeah. but i was not aware on how the memory management works in c++ okay. so i personally started by answering okay. how garbage collection and how the memory management works in java okay. and how how that particular problem that he expected me to discuss in terms of c++ might work with respect to java is something that i discussed with him mm-hmm. and i was able to convey my thought process and the possible root cause analysis that we basically discussed upon okay. so it was something based out of out of memory leak that happens usually okay, when okay. you are like so even though you were expecting things in c++ you convinced him and explained him in java and he got impressed by that right Yeah, so Java is something that was not. Uh, so the main tip is main tip is वो आपको कैसा भी पूछे आपको handle करना आना चाहिए ऐसा नहीं कि आप बोल दो sorry sir no I will not answer that you cannot do. No, so that is something that will never work. You have to like express and explain. Like change yeah like you are trying like you did a little bit changing in the direction of interview right for direction. Yeah, that is yeah. crucial if you want to clear the interviews even if you don't know you just don't let me say that you don't know. आपको अपने तरह से चीजों को handle करने पड़ेगा ना given interview. Okay okay. So like इसके बाद इंटरव्यू एंड हो गया कि उन्होंने और भी कुछ पूछा इसके बाद डायरेक्टर इसके बाद there were a few questions on HLD okay, okay. Uh, based on the scalability cap theorem acid acid, acid theorem and um, yeah. there were a few questions on database partitioning and sharding okay. and they did and Aditya one more thing sorry to interrupt did they ask you about the previous work experience as well uh, not much I would say okay. it was a generic managerial plus HLD type of round okay, okay. so not a lot of previous experience. Was something that was being asked in the interview. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. I would say, generic tech interview. But from HLD, they were asking all types of concepts to you, right? Yeah, HLD, you have to be prepared with every possible scenarios. Yeah, yeah. So, like after the four rounds were done, what you were feeling and how much time did they take to tell you that you have been selected, Aditya? So, I think around after two weeks, I got a confirmation that I have been selected. Okay, okay. And then it was followed by three weeks of background verification and two months of notice period. So, I had just joined Microsoft a few days ago. Okay, okay. So, uh, like, congratulations one more time, Aditya, for cracking Microsoft. One very important question I have written here for you is that mm-hmm. as a working professional, how to do time management? Because working professional, you know, job jaate, job se aate, unke pas padne ka, apply karne ka, is sab chizon ka time nahi hota hai. So, from where are you getting time, Aditya? Can you explain? So, I basically create timetable for myself, and I live a very disciplined life. Okay. So, it's like I would sleep at ten. Like, I don't okay. try to stay awake after ten until there's a extreme work pressure, which is rare. So I would sleep at ten and wake up at mostly around four a.m. So before going okay. to the gym, I would basically do lead code practice for three hours every single day, just to be very much consistent with my practice. So that is one tip I wanted to share that even if you're not looking for a switch, keep on practicing, so that even if you get a good opportunity, you're able to do well in the interviews because there's a high possibility that you might not get a lot of time for interview preparation when the interview actually comes for you. Yeah, and guys, one more thing I would like to add that even though he has cracked such good offers. आज भी और कल भी और परसों भी ये चार बजे ही उठते हैं और ये अभी भी उतना ही से करते हैं सो यू गाइस शुड लर्न फ्रॉम हिम स्टिल मेंटेनिंग हिज सेम स्केड्यूल राइट आदित्य या सो हैविंग अ डिसिप्लिन एंड कंसिस्टेंट कंसिस्टेंट शेड्यूल इज गोइंग इज समथिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प इन अ वेरी लॉन्ग रन सो आई वुड सजेस्ट एवरी फेलो इंजीनियर इफ यू आर हैविंग अ बैड लाइफस्टाइल इट्स वोंट जस्ट अफेक्ट योर वर्क बट इट विल अफेक्ट एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज लिविंग अ वेरी डिसिप्लिन लाइफ Okay. So th- this will help you with your preparation, with your uh, gym routine, with your day-to-day activities, with your work, with everything that you do in a d- daily life. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Very nice input, Aditya. Now, the next and most important question, which thousands of people want to know from you, is what is the main DSA strategy which you followed, Aditya, in your preparation since the last one to three years? So the first step that I did, did was the basic sheets that we have in the market. Okay. But what I realized is after reading it a lot of hundreds of interview experience, okay. uh, there's a high possibility that you might not be uh, getting the same repetitive pattern based problem. Okay. So what I did after completing the sheets was I started to practice a lot of hard and thin problems, lead code, medium, hard. And I was also part of your training, so I was doing the OA plus CP training because I was like not very much good in CP part. 
and also i used to fear the online assessment okay. so this was something that was a uh, key factor so i started practicing a lot of medium and hard lead code non standard problems which okay. were new to me okay. so that is one of the thing that i wanted to share that don't just stuck to the same repetitive sheets okay. it's helpful but it, it's helpful up to a certain level and there's a high possibility that you might get a new problem and you might be stuck if you don't practice a lot of new problems on daily basis okay. so they are changing the format due to ai in 2025 right aditya yeah like uh, after the evolution of ai the i believe the level of interviews are also a bit difficult than previous years okay 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 thank you